Hello, it's Tuesday and I have another video. Surprise, surprise. This one was super fun and I am basically making a layout that is Ashley and I and it is from a concert that we went to. The die cut that you see is from the Silhouette store and I just watercolored it and I watercolored on an, a white American Crafts uh, background and I also cut out a piece of the basic gray highline and that's the pink grid that you see in the back and that's the backing. So I layered up some of my scraps, just some of the strawberry fields, vellum, and some pieces that I had thrown in my scrap box. And here I used a punch, uh, Martha Stewart punch, to make the little edge. And I love the way that turned out. I think I'm going to do that again because it was really unusual and it's like right there it's a s small strip and it's right there on the border and it just added that little tiny something to balance the page without being very heavy and I wanted to keep this page very light and airy so I did some sprinkling of mists um, not mists watercolor and I kept it pretty simple I'm trying to think. I've used some different inks, some inks to distress with, I think. I think the stamp that says 2014 was the Stampin' Up! Pink Passion. And I'm telling you, I've had those inks forever. I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator like 10 years ago and still have those. So, and they're still perfect. I mean, I love them. Sorry, phone. <laughs> I knew someone would text. But um, anyway, I do use a bit of the vellum. And I know it's very pink and feminine. But I don't care. I love it. And some of the strawberry fields cut apart. And then some paper for my stash that I just fussy cut flowers out of. And I'll kind of layer those in. And I did more fussing than actual embellish embellishing, it seems. But I love the way it turned out. I'm going to turn that off. So you can quit hearing it go off. Um, let's see. Okay. So... Oh, I do like that little uh, jeweled Prima embellishment, and it says, say it in pearls. That's, that's what it's called, say it in pearls. And I used that little canvas square, and I got that at Recollections. I think it's Paper House that makes that. Yeah. And a few enamel dots from Twine and & Ink. And like I said, this one came together. Other than fussing with placement, I, I really didn't heavily embellish. And I do end up uh, journaling on the back. And this is kind of our signature picture. We would always stick our tongue out. <laughs> and I just have always kind of done that. I'm kind of crazy like that. <laughs> My kids make fun of me. Here I'm using some of the, and I can't pronounce it, it's like quinacridone magenta in the Liquitex permanent ink. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I murdered that word, but just so you can find it, because it's not just magenta. And I know it's a common word in color spectrums like paint spectrums but you know I don't know it's uh, it's not a word that I've actually heard anyone say so I don't know how to pronounce it I should probably pull that up technology is so wonderful all I have to do is go into 
dictionary.com and they'll pronounce anything for me. It's fabulous. Makes me sound so smart. <laughs> I can go back and pronounce something properly. And I also do word of the day. So I try, you know, a lot of those are so old school that you'd never use them. But a couple of them can be uh, utilized and are very fitting. And you're like, oh, I didn't know that. So I would encourage anyone to do that. And here I'm just putting our names in the mini market stickers. And I was trying to figure out how to place them. And now that I look at it, I should have gone around the corner. I should have, like, continued, like, past twos. I should have gone to the right and said, and Ash. Hmm. Oh, look, I changed it again. <laughs> oh, well. So my daughter, my lovely, uh, no, I always say lovely London. No, my daughter True <laughs> is headed right now to take tumble classes again. And I'm so shocked because she hasn't done cheer for a year. And she really does love it. But she's so, she has so much muscular strength and power. But she's kind of chicken of it, so she's scared. And she could be like level five, level six, no problem, if she would learn how to control the power. So that was always a hold back for her in cheer because coaches would push her and say, you can do this. Oh, my God, you're built for this. This is you. Da, da, da. And she would be like, but I'm scared. And one time she was doing a standing back tuck and planted her face. And that was really, I mean, she's never been injured, and it didn't, hurt her other than scared her and scraped up her nose a little like a carpet burn kind of thing <laughs> but it was enough to scare her off of tumbling for a while so she had a mental block and that didn't go over real well and I don't know she's just poor thing I've got London who would throw anything and do anything but doesn't have the muscular build or strength or flexibility she's like super tight and long and tall and kind of, I mean, I, for lack of a better word, she's kind of weak. <laughs> and um, she's more laid back and lazy, though, so she doesn't push herself, whereas True is mini me. She's going to go out there and she's going to bust it out no matter what she does. She's got the muscle tone. She's, you know, she could do anything. And I'm telling you, she just needs to not be as... I'm a chicken, too. Don't get me wrong. I would be scared to death to do that stuff. And it is a dangerous sport. But as much as they love it, I mean, True did it for, gosh, from age 6 to age 18. So 12, almost 13 years. And she did double duty when she did um, high school cheer in addition to competitive cheer. So... I think she just misses it, and she loves her old privates coach, so she gets to see him, and I went out with him one time a long time ago, and he's a sweetheart, but I just couldn't get into him, and it was kind of weird that he was my daughter's coach, so <laughs> I, I gave up on that, but he is, he's a huge teddy bear, he's like 6'5", and very, very nice. I think he may be too nice for me, actually. I think that was maybe my biggest fear. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you like the layout. Of course, I'm going around with my Sakura pin. And if you have any questions about product, I would encourage you to ask. And I would love for you to share on my Facebook group at The Pretty Paper Page. And also, if you like the video, please thumbs up. And I will have another one for you very soon. Have a great evening. Ta-ta for now. Bye.